Left alone while Ake goes back to the fountain. Nice stun there. Get some damage onto No Tail, but more importantly, picks up the CS he would have missed otherwise. And Miracle actually going to be charged up here with a snowball. We can steal this rune away from him. Get the haste rune. Oh, they've taken it. Now Miracle's going to be forced to ghost walk to survive, but they have the dust. He takes away that haste. That was a smart play, but it's still the power shot to be able to get the kill. Miracle. I mean, he recognized the fact that Tusk had the yeah. dust, so he didn't try and go invis. Now that No Tail is getting closer to level 6, just hit level 4 and forcing him back with the flat cannon, even though he's enfeebled up. Still annoying to actually deal with there. Snowball in from the side, they're gonna try and pick off the Wiz, and he knows they don't have Tether up, so this is a very easy kill. Loda actually challenging No Tail a little bit, but he has dropped a bit low. And But I think he's just gonna go back to base and probably pick up Magic Wand, because it's uh, a Wiz Blade, it's usually essential. Nice TP out from Ake, good read. Moon? Ice 4 is crushing this mid lane though. Moon may actually be dead here in the top lane. If Admiral Bulldog can run him down and get one more tick, the uh, Magic Wand is actually going to be enough to keep Moon alive. But Admiral Bulldog is able to beat down the Sven, will die in the process underneath the tower. But still, he got the kill, brought himself up to level 6, and was able to buy out before he died. Now the Snowball into middle lane. Miracle already dropped low, gets off a beautiful tornado hitting on 2. But they've blown up the empty dust to make sure he does in fact die. Nuts may get burned out, but no, looks like he's good. S4 claims yet another kill, and this time around, they're making sure to shut down Miracle nice and early before. You've got the double blades of attack, so you're relying heavily on getting your last hits in early. And then into the phase to try and maybe move around a little bit, as crit down the bottom. Uh-oh. Okay, he's dropping low, Brain Sap going off in the last second, it looks like the Wiz is going to be going down, No Tail still trying to chase down Akai, but realized that is going to be a fruitless attempt, and now with Loda, the sprint, not off cooldown, he's going to be slowed down soon by Fly, it looks like the MP plus a cold snap is going to keep Loda at bay. That power shot though, nearly, very nearly killed No Tail. Wind run, Bulldog has Scorched Earth, there's Loda with sprint. Tusk has Stowball. Arcade's like the only hero that they can reliably jump on and find kills on. Now this smoke is gonna find Miracle. They do have Moon here with the response. They are able to get out the stun. Nice uh, Tornado actually stocks up Ake and they're holding him in with the EMP. They're able to stop him from being able to get off a brain sap. Beautiful turnaround from OG as they countered on Alliance to uh, provide yet another tank onto Miracle. But this time around the trap was set and OG focusing down in the, uh, in the early stages. Shackle shot missed out, but meanwhile Nuts is going to be chased away by No-Tail. With Warcry, No-Tail will be able to get in range of Nuts and get some damage out of the Rocket Barrage, but not sure this is going to be enough. Oh, nice! Snowball dodge there. They have another Rocket Barrage coming up. Meanwhile, S4 is going to be taking out EMP double kill Miracle. Fortunate happenstance as that uh, Tuss just walks into the EMP trying to get away from the rest of OG. 15 seconds, and Moon has four points in the Storm Hammer. They've, they've got stuns, they've got catch. And Loader doesn't have a lot of HP to work with if he does get caught out here. Thing is about these smokes is that they are so valuable. What? Miracle actually picking the mid kill on the Bane, but it's up top lane where that smoke's gonna come into play. Loda gets Sprint, gets a pretty far distance, but not far enough away from that Jarcopter ultimate. Nuts is actually gonna bring him inside. The snowball goes to Moon, maybe not where they really wanted to go. Immediate stun follow up, and they're trying to get out of this one. The Splinter Blast heading out, they're going straight for the Wiz. Admiral Bulldog wants to be able to run him down. A stun goes out. Nuts, I ah, amplify damage on the Moon. Maybe Admiral Bulldog's gonna turn onto on that one. No Tail's able to survive through that Doom and can turn things around. Miracle almost finishing off S4 from the back. He's now going to be snowballed up. Oh, what a shackle shot, but they have the cold embrace to be able to keep him alive, but no tail ends up going down instead. They get the wins as well off the back of the Amplified Damage. Ake is going to be falling here against Moon, though, and Alliance still looking perhaps for a little bit more. Ice Shards gets laying out there. Miracle, they still have all that Amplified Damage vision, but they're not going to try and fight it out any further. I think they're lucky to be alive in that scenario, especially since the Doom. Bunch of them this game already and dodging out Storm Hammers and things like that. But I think Ake with the Fiend's Grip, if he can catch the Wisp or the Wyvern, and it all comes down to oh, the Relocate. Oh, the Relocate's gonna come in with the Winter's Curse over the top there, throwing everything they had to kill S4. And such an overwhelming attack from OG prompts no response from Alliance. The, uh, for that exact reason, because he's not a great Flash Farmer, he relies on kills a lot of the time. Right. If the game becomes stagnant and people stop fighting, where does he oh, get that here's from? one hell of a kill. They've got the Fiend's Grip. Miracle, there's no response, not even a relocate. 
Moon actually coming in. Now the relocate. They're going to go straight for Octave. They will be able to get that quick kill. And S4 is actually running out of wind run. It's going to be kind of caught here. But no, the Doom actually getting laid on the spend. Meanwhile, they're controlling no tail enough. Looks like with the amplified damage, they'll easily be able to get that kill. No, the relocate. They actually got him out. Fly is now going to be the target from Admiral Bulldog as they've taken down the spend on the right hand side. And Alliance pick up three there, all in exchange for Ake. OG. I can't believe they actually went for that fight. I guess they really thought it was just going to be uh, S4 and that... Uh... Armor from the Helm of the Dominator. Even though people don't really think about it a lot, you know, Helm, uh, Helm of the Dominator's thought, right, life steal, going to Satanic is great. Mm -hmm. That's tusk, nuts. Snowboard dodge, but he's, he's going to be going straight into the enemy. Well, the rest of his team is coming in. If they get a really good Winter's Curse, though, OG can still turn this one around until the Doom gets laid out. Fly's definitely dead here. Lona makes sure that is definitely going to be top priority. The rest of OG get a lot of damage out from those spirits. Crit rounds out another one. And No Tail is immediately going to be the target here. They're going to be able to surround him pretty quick, and I'm not sure if this is really a play. It looks like Crit's going to try and save him, but no, the relocate got canceled, and now he's going to be dying as well. And it looks like they've even caught Miracle. The Fiend's Crit gets laid out, the stun follow up, and that's going to be four down. Alliance surging up big time as they manage to turn a catch of one into the four other heroes. How does that even happen, though? Oh, gee. And then the Wisp goes, relocates him out. And then they're actually in a pretty decent position after that. Maybe they even save everybody. No tail. Gonna be the target once again. They have the Amplify damage leading with the stun first. They'll follow up. Uh, Crit comes in with an extra bit of tether heal, but that's not nearly gonna be enough. And now he's gonna be the next target. Slept up, Amplify damage. And first him down as well. Where's his curse laid out? Why? What are you really gonna do here all by yourself? That's just gonna be a blown ultimate for nothing. And Fly only just barely managing to escape there if he didn't go over the uh, cliff. For Alliance. If they do want to take down some more towers and you know, encroach onto the enemy side of the map, I think it's going to take a smoke forward because they see Ar oh, they see Nuts there. Yeah, Nuts is dead. They see Ar Snowball of well. Doom. He actually gets a lot of damage on the way, so he goes for the punch on him, but not going to get there in time. But they are Roshan just because... They've got such good team for doing Roshan between Focus Fire and Amp Damage. And there's no TPs for OG that are potential. Fly's just going to get burst down. Loda found that quick pick off with the Blink Dagger. And OG. Just, uh, Winter's Curse relocate in. S4? No, he's out. Quick he's not going to be hit by that one at all. They're coming in around from the side, though. Yeah, Lotus this is right dangerous. Here. Lotus gonna start setting up there. Oh, it's, oh what? Hey. Loda was on point with that one. If he yeah. was half a second faster or just a little bit closer, he stops that relocate. And that's actually... Two of them. Yeah, that's both of them. There's no way I think Gyro gets out. The hits and crits from Bulldog. Oh, I can't believe Loda didn't score that one. Pretty much keeps you up there in top two. Yeah. Like, there's, there's still a couple of teams that can, you know, pop their heads up and say, hey, monkey business, we're going to get into yeah, that it's, second it's spot. It's pretty but... much VP. Pretty much VP is the best team to go for. Miracle's going to be caught here. The BKB activated. There's nothing really to stop this when the Amplify damage. Jules Scepter, Winter Wyvern, first getting laid out. And Miracle actually does get away until the Doom's laid out on him. The best Admiral Bulldog can hope for now is to snag that kill ahead of the Deny, but he's being held up by No-Tail. Looks like that missile's going to put a stop to him. And uh, no, the Wisp actually keeps him alive. Meanwhile, the spend does go down. Miracle's going to be able to survive, and Alliance take a quick peek into the Roshan pit. The big boy's not up just yet. That's a fight where Tusk doesn't even oh, use Oh, okay. Tornado He's hits fine. him. Shackle shot. Yule Scepter just in case. Making sure that one doesn't land. The Force Staff follow up. They're going to try and pop Miracle with the Amplified damage. They catch him out. He's Looks dead. like the Focus Fire is enough damage. Easily. Now Fly comes forward. Doesn't actually have a Winter's Curse. Not sure what his plan is here. But OG. If that Shackle hits Gyro. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to be losing a number of heroes. In fact, Loda's going to look for more. They want to try and catch No Tail. Loda. Blink Dagger up. Five seconds. He's got the Amp damage. Looks like No Tail is going to be dying as well. Oh, now they're backing up. They're going Go back for in. it. Blink Loda. in. Loda. Now yeah, hits the go. blink, they come in for the kill, they get a big critical out of Admiral Bulldog as well, oh, and on likes. the side, Wiss ends up going down, Monkey Business, aka OG, they've just been wiped! And Roshan's about to spawn. Uh, a good glimmer, blink in Fiend script. You're probably unlikely to be stopped, at least not fast enough. What about Admiral Bulldog's dead. 
Christmas gear. So he gets off the BKB ahead of the Winter's Curse, but it doesn't matter. There's so much physical damage out of these heroes. He's gonna it's try and get away with the phase boots. Huge. Don't tell me. Oh my god, the stun comes in for Lona, but Doom still dies. Looks like Chris is gonna be taken out by that power shop, and they're making a full committal here with the Doom still on no tail. They've got that kill with the beach grab long range from Ake. Miracle's gonna be caught as well, and Alliance will gladly make that trade. Bulldog with the quick fingers getting off the BKB results in him surviving long enough that Alliance win the fight quite handily. Pretty enough Doom would have survived past too long. They're not going to see anything either. Oh, they know where Miracle is. S4, can you solo kill this with a crit? Yeah, Shackle? because this... Oh! No, 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 no. That was uh, definitely not... Oh, S4! Hold up, Moon. I don't think that was the targeting, my friend. He's going to be blocked out. Nice setup by Nudge. Nice shard. Actually catching Moon. Moon apparently thinking that was potentially a solo S4. Had the push out from No Tail and Crit trying to force Alliance back desperately, but S4 is taking that tier 3 so damn fast. Still though, looks like it's going to be a tier 3 for tier 3 to start things off. Jesus, Lona! He just takes out the Winter Wyvern so quickly, and Miracle quickly follows. The tier 3 is down at the top lane. The reinitiation now as OG come back in with Miracle. Shackle shot not quite latching. They do have Lota leading the way here at the top lane, trying to put a stop to that Gyrocopter Wisp. Looks like it is successful. Tier 3 for Tier 3, Dyer's but they forced some buybacks. They had that side to buy. You have to, you have to fight now. If the Lions try and push up again and finish off that Tier 3 tower, you go for it. Who do you hex though? Who's your target? Nuts. <laughs> He's actually the one to blink for and take out that tower. And now the reinitiation load actually goes in. They already get out the ultimate onto Miracle. That's going to take him out of the fight completely. Winter Wyvern's gone. No chance for a good Winter's Curse. Moon's going to be held in by the Fiend's Grip as well. No Tail chased away by Loda, who's actually got to blink up in a second. Oh, good bash. And that'll be easily enough to finish off the game as OG calling for game number two. It ends in a tie. Alliance who are sitting top of the group right now, thanks to their score of seven and one. So that's their last series. Alliance are now sitting eight and two, and that's it. Monkey Biz is now at seven and one. They've got one series left to play. And then it's it's VP, like you said. They are, they've played six out of their 10 games. So they've got two two-game series left to go. And they could potentially, if, if they go four and zero, right? Mm -hmm. They go eight and two.